A self-serve API to tackle AI hallucinations is available now in real time. An AI counterfeit tool with 99.7% accuracy for brands worldwide. Microsoft extends Windows 10 support for an extra year at a cost. And a new study discovers that recovering data supposedly deleted from a large language model is surprisingly easy. Welcome to Hashtag Trending. I'm your host, Jim Law. Let's get into it. A San Francisco-based startup, Patronus AI, has introduced a new platform designed to prevent AI-generated inaccuracies or hallucinations in real time, marking a significant advancement in AI safety tools. The company, which recently raised $17 million in Series A funding, claims that its platform is the first self-serve API solution focused on detecting and preventing AI failures before they reach users. Patronus AI's solution is built around its proprietary links model, which they claim detects inaccuracies more effectively than current leading AI models, including GPT-4. Links offers a dual speed option with real-time quick response and deeper offline analysis, providing adaptable monitoring for a variety of industries. According to CEO Anand Kanapan, Many companies are grappling with AI failures in production, facing issues like hallucinations, security vulnerabilities, and unpredictable behavior. One standout feature of the platform is apparently its customizable judge evaluators, which allow businesses to create plain English rules specific to their needs, such as regulatory compliance for financial firms or patient privacy for healthcare providers. In addition, specialized tools detect protected content and assess AI performance, giving businesses a comprehensive safety net. The platform's pay-as-you-go pricing model starts at $10 per 1,000 API calls and is designed to make advanced AI monitoring accessible to startups and smaller companies. Patronus AI has already attracted high-profile clients such as HP, AngelList, and Pearson, and has formed partnerships with the major tech players, including NVIDIA, MongoDB, and IBM. As AI use continues to expand, Patronus AI's toolset could become vital for companies aiming to meet emerging regulatory requirements, such as those outlined in President Biden's AI Executive Order and EU's AI Act. Patronus AI emphasizes that its tools not only protect against AI errors, but also help improve AI models over time, setting a new standard for ongoing AI safety and reliability. Cypheme, a French AI company specializing in anti-counterfeit technology, has announced the global availability of its visual AI-powered tool, Vray AI, or True AI, which identifies fake products with a 99.7 accuracy rate. Brands across industries, including pharmaceuticals, electronics, and fashion, can now use this technology to secure their products against counterfeiting with just a smartphone. Fashion giant Lacoste is the first to implement Vray AI in its warehouses, utilizing the tool to verify product authenticity by analyzing the microscopic details of its iconic crocodile logo. This AI solution does not require product modifications or special labels, offering brands an accessible, reliable means of maintaining product integrity. Implementing AI counterfeiting techniques helps brands combat piracy, said Hugo Garcia Cote, CEO of Cypheme. He added that such tools help shape safer societies overall. Additionally, for certain products, Cypheme offers the noise print label, an anti-copy label that uses neural network algorithms to verify authenticity and trace origins of counterfeit goods. This label supports brands in tracking down sources of fake items, furthering the fight against global counterfeiting. Counterfeit goods represent 2.5% of global trade, according to the European Union Agency for Law Enforcement Cooperation, highlighting the impact of Cypheme's solution in improving both brand protection and public safety. Microsoft has announced yet another extension for its Windows 10 support, offering consumers an additional year of security updates for $30. This extended security updates or ESU program previously limited to business, education, and government customers will now be available to individual users unwilling or unable to upgrade to Windows 11. 
With official support for Windows 10 ending in October 2025, this option is likely a welcome relief for users whose hardware doesn't meet Windows 11's strict requirements. Microsoft's decision comes as Windows 10 still dominates the company's OS market, holding an almost 63% share compared with Windows 11's 33%. Yusuf Mehdi, Microsoft's consumer chief marketing officer, announced the program's rollout saying, for the first time ever, we're introducing an ESU program for personal use as well. Corporate users already pay higher fees, with businesses charged $61 per device for the first year of support, doubling annually to $244 by year three. Education customers, however, can benefit from lower costs, starting at $1 per licensee and doubling each year for three years. Microsoft's push for Windows 11 adoption has met resistance, with consumers citing limited hardware compatibility and minimal perceived improvements. The company's emphasis on AI features like Copilot hasn't swayed users either. Some industry observers suggest that the added expense of Windows 11 ready devices may push users to consider alternatives, such as Linux or Apple's growing ecosystem. And a recent study titled, Does Your LLM Truly Unlearn? An embarrassingly simple approach to recover unlearned knowledge reveals unexpected challenges in removing sensitive information from large language models. LLMs learn an enormous amount of information during their training. And as we've talked about before, training for a large model can cost $100 million or more. So what if you need the model to unlearn something? Copyrighted material if you get sued? Private information where there's a right to forget law in place? or just things that are plain wrong. To avoid having to delete the material from the training set and retrain the model each time deletions are required, model developers have turned to machine unlearning methods, helping AI models forget specific content. Unfortunately, that information is never truly deleted. The weightings are changed to make it not appear. And as these researchers discovered, a process known as quantization, much like a compression process used to reduce the amount of storage or processing for large models, could unintentionally reverse these deletions. Quantization is used to make AI models smarter and faster. It rounds off numbers within the model to reduce memory usage and boost processing speed. But it can also mask the tiny adjustments that were made during the unlearning. And the study found that in cases where models were quantized, the sensitive information that was supposed to be erased could resurface, effectively reappearing within the model. The security risks are significant. Quantization's impact on unlearning can not only cause issues with material that should have been removed, it can create opportunities for adversarial attacks. In the study, researchers warned that attackers aware of quantization's limitations could recover sensitive data that should have been erased, presenting privacy and compliance risks. A model distributed for public or organizational use could unintentionally expose user data or violate copyrights, undermining trust in the AI tools. The study proposes a new method called SURE that targets specific areas of the model related to the data to be forgotten. But as researchers point out, it minimizes the risk of that data reappearing, doesn't eliminate and the researchers say they still need more testing to ensure its reliability across different quantization levels. For companies and individuals using AI in sensitive applications, this research highlights a critical area of AI safety that still requires development. Until more robust unlearning methods are proven effective, quantization could continue to complicate efforts to erase sensitive information in AI models. And that's our show for today. You can reach me at editorial at technewsday.ca. Love to hear from you. I'm your host, Jim Love. Have a terrific Tuesday.